We are concerned that the wider issue of trafficking that was there beforehand may continue now to increase. And what we need to be careful of is that there are guidelines actually in place to reduce the amount of risk to children and the easy access that people now have to take children out of the country. We are very concerned that there aren't the necessary border controls in place right now to actually stop children from being trafficked to overseas. As you can imagine right now, children are living in camps and it makes it very difficult for the children and the families to know who's living by them. There's a lot of new strangers to them, there's people they're unfamiliar with, there's also very much open access to these camps. So it's important that we have somewhere for children to go. So we've established child-friendly spaces which allow for children to come together to be able to participate in age-appropriate activities, to learn, to be with their friends and enjoy peer relationships. This also allows parents the really important part of having the knowledge that their children are safe in a child-friendly space while they go out and look for the real basic needs that they need. Child-friendly spaces also allow for children to begin that, that healing process that they really need right now. They need to have the support of their friends, they need to be able to talk to them, they need to be able to share their experiences, to learn from each other and to have those new friendships going now. Many of them have lost loved ones and friends and families from schools and this is a really important part of their, their next steps of moving along and so the benefits to them um, are really huge from child-friendly spaces.